long day today. Very long day today. About to tell you what happened today. I'll tell you in a minute. What's up? So, inside the TA right here, about to scan my paperwork in. So, let's go and do that. Pretty good week. Hell of a lot better than last week. But no, I take that back. Week before last. This week's pretty good, though. So, sorry it's taking me so long, but you know I gotta, I gotta get my stuff sorted out. So, long day today, man. Uh, started my day at uh at five o'clock this morning. And uh, and it started out pretty good. Pretty good. It started out pretty good. But, kinda, kinda went sideways when I came up to uh, PA. Well, I, I, you know what, let me rewind back to where this all started. My driver tech. I hate this thing, I really do. I freaking hate this thing, man. The driver tech. I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's not good. It's not good at all, all right? So, you guys seen it when I told you about it when it first went out, all right? Now, when the very first time it happened, um, I resetted it, came back on, boom. Second time it happened, it never came back on, period. Never came back on. So I took it to the shop, and you know, the shop says that it was a, it was a power cord that was corroded. They fixed it. All right, cool. No problem. No problem at all. So I drive. I drive it a while, and and it's been pretty. It's been working pretty good so far. All right, all the way up until it started acting up again. I was like, okay, well, you know, let me let me pull the truck over right quick unplug it reset it it'd come back on and it did it came right back on so today let's let's talk about today that's this what you guys want to know y'all want to know what happened today but what i do have are a very particular set of skills skills i have acquired over a very long career skills that make me a nightmare for people like you Today, I'm driving. I'm driving. Doing good time, by the way. I'm doing. I'm doing good time. All right. And then, boom! I come past the. I, I come past the the way station, or it's not a way station. Is is one of them DOT inspection sites that uh, DOT sets up on the highway. And in one instance, is is you gotta go through when it's when the lights flash you gotta go through the west the rest area so line of trucks is going through the rest area i i, I see the lights all right so i was like damn let me go ahead and pull over and get my stuff taken care of all right make sure i got the paperwork you know make sure that you know bam bam boom 
as I'm pulling over to do that, the driver tech went out again. I said, I be damn. What the fuck? So I unplug it, plug it back up, nothing. It's still blank. Unplug it, plug it back up, it's still blank. Here comes DOT knocking on my door. Now, unfortunately, I was I was I was on the shoulder. Alright? So it wasn't like I was ignoring, you know, then that's what I was telling them. I says, uh, no, I, I wasn't ignoring the you know the the flashing lights. I was just getting my paperwork together and my driver tech went out. So I was trying to reset my driver tech so that I can give you, you know, everything you need so I'm good to go. No, 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 not, it started out, he started out as, you know, a little exaggerated because he saw me pulled off to the side. So in his mind, he thought I was about to avoid the light or whatever the case. That, that wasn't the case. And when I explained it to him, it's kind of cool. So he was like, well, follow me on in and give me your law book. I, I don't have the law book together because my driver tech just went out. And I tried to reset it while I was there. Still wouldn't come on, man. I mean, it was just, I mean, it, it just, it just f me up today. I mean, bedtime. I, uh, I explained it to him, you know, gave him all the paperwork. Let him know I was going to Montgomery, New York, dropping the FedEx load. He had me hemmed up for a hot minute. So, while he was in the truck doing all that, I'm still in the truck trying to get the driver tech to come back on. I'm, I'm unplugging things, I'm plugging it back in, I'm turning off the truck, turning on the truck, turning off the truck, unplugging and all that stuff. and. Would, wouldn't even come on, wouldn't, wouldn't even come on. I made sure that I, I had him to call, um, I had him to call the, uh, the driver tech support department so that they can, you know, pretty much email him my logs all the way up until I got, you know, until I got pulled over or whatever. You know, he did the damn thing and all like that. So he came back over to the truck after he did all that, and he was like, "Hey, you know, I, you know, I talked to the driver test support. I understand, you know, you had your problem and all like that." And I was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I said I'm, I'm basically pretty good on all my inspections. I mean, I haven't had no, no violations, no, no nothing. I don't even have CSA points, you know." I was, you know, I've been driving for over, I've been driving with this company for for over two years and I haven't had no problem. What I'm gonna do is give you a warning about the law book. You know, he said he was gonna give me a warning about the law book and he didn't give me a citation. So I didn't get a ticket, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't get a ticket, so it, it, it's no points on my license. And from what I thought, was in the back of my head I was like okay well since he's not since he's only giving me a warning I'm not I'm not going to experience no CSA points mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I just realized after reading the inspection sheet that I signed of course he got it written on the inspection sheet law book uh, law book not current and there you have it, and the the code for it was 395.2, I think. One that you get five CSA points for not having your law book correct, or not having your law book up to date, something like that. Ain't this, ain't this about that? Well, I call safety and let them know, so they want me to Fasten in and all like that. Fats, you know, fasten the inspection and all like that. And um, yeah, that's that's it. Yo, your boy got your boy got five CSA points, man. And that's that's you know, I don't like points. 
I, you know what I'm saying? I kept, I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep my record clean. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it clean. You know, maybe not spotless, but at least clean, you know? But, uh, with the five CSA points, it's gonna stay on, it's gonna stay on my CSA record for three years. Uh, and after three years, it drops off. Shippensburg Terminal and as you guys just seen a few seconds ago that is a brand new driver tech yes 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 on the inspection report I believe it's five points on C on my CSA score which will late which will stay on there for three years it uh, it'll be another 12 months before I can before I can see another safety bonus. No god. No god, please no. 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 The 5 cent safety bonus. Upset about that? Yes, very much. Uh that that the 5 cent safety bonus was uh was a big help in in earning extra cash. All you new drivers uh, coming on that's doing um, that's that's doing e logs. Definitely make sure you have your log book with you. Tip that Ryan gave me, I'm going to give you guys. Uh, start having them to start sending your e logs. Maybe you might want to start it on a daily. Have them to start emailing to you, and on your email, on your email, you can you can um, uh, set a folder up just for your e logs. So just in case you your driver tech goes out, or your people net, or your Qualcomm, or anything of that nature goes out, you have you have your backup e logs. Uh, pretty much that's what saved me from from getting a, a law book citation let's get on up and get out of here thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button uh, like comment share the video and to all my new subscribers out there thank you very much for watching I really do appreciate it um, you guys rock Lockout men, out.